hi friends in this video you will able to learn uh, the verilog code how to use it in questa sim and do the verification view the schematic view and these all things and this is for beginners who wanted to learn uh, verilog and uh, do the simulations in questa sim okay so first open that uh, software go to the file new and then project uh, select the folder where you want to uh, do the simulation so i have one uh, very log file and there i want to create one more folder of basic get okay done select folder i give the project name i want to give it all get create new one uh, give the file type you can also simulate a system where log code vhdl and this all okay so uh, here we will go for very log okay So I have already the file, uh, already written Verilog code for the basic code using data flow model. So I will not write it again, uh, I have already, so I will search it and then copy paste. Yeah, this, this is I have already written and verified. So for you, so that you can understand it well. So this is the so uh, as we know that the Verilog code uh, start with the module and in with end module and their uh, name of the modules and then input output port here listed one. So A and B are input port, output port are this all. Uh, so in the data flow model, you have to write assign this is for not get a complement and uh, or get a or b and uh, for and this is and get and this is for nor get and so these all are you can search in on google uh, what are the symbol of that uh, and not nor george okay so this is uh, for more module for the basic get so save it control press or you can press here save so it is saved so now i will write the test bench of this module to verify is it working or not so right click here uh, add to the project and then new file uh, so here again very low test bench in very low so all gets for better understanding we will write tv uh, for the test bench okay so so this is uh, test bench written in very loud for the module all gets this one so first uh, in test bench there is also module module name and there is no input output port is there and then in with in module okay so for the test bench ta and tb are the input stimuli generation uh, ta and tb and buyer is t by 1 and t by 2 uh, these are the test bench output so after buyer we will instantiate the module so the as the module name is there all gets okay so we will call that all gets here in test bench and then name duty and then connect with the uh, test bench with the input of the module okay so dot a uh, will be connect a will be connected module input a will be connected to the output of the test bench ta similarly b will be connected to tb uh, so these all are connection of the test bench to the 
module we will see in the schematic how these all are connected okay uh, so after that initial begin uh, these are the test bin test bench variable ta tb that is why ta and tb are changing uh, after a certain time so that is why it is given as as a rails okay so for two inputs it will vary uh, at four times uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 uh, after 10 nanosecond every time by default it is in nanosecond so and after that I stop the code after the 10 10 10 and 14 okay so this is the test bench so save it also and then here right click and then compile and compile all so here in the transcript uh, here you will see there is no error so compile zero cell with no error okay now done we have all the uh, written the code uh, have done the compilation now we have to do the simulation okay so go to the library uh, here there will be one work created by your you so right click here and go for the simulate it So after the simulation uh, here in library after the simulation you will get the base option here and the object so click select the whole object or uh, left click and then add to base so all here will appear now go to the here run all so see in test bench the in after 40 nanosecond the code has uh, stopped here working so you can see the see all the you can verify by here is input a a a zero b zero so for the not get it will be a complement of this so this is the verification okay now how you can view the schematic view so in the uh, transcript just click here uh, right v s i v s i n debug db then all gets tv okay so after writing that in the uh, transcript go to the view and here you will see a schematic so click that and then click on view incremental and then click here now see this is your test bench and this is your module so test bench input ta and tv is connected to the uh, input of uh, module a and b and then output by one and by two seven these all are connected to t by here in the base you can see okay so that time it was showing so you can view again okay by giving the object to the wave and send uh, running okay so this is your test bench this is your test bench this is your module and if you want to view the inside the module what are the uh, gates used for the that so double click here and you will see all so this is all here okay not gate or gate and gate and this is nor gate nand gate jor gate and x nor gate so in this way you can do the right first you have to write the code for the module and then you have to write the test bench and then do compilation after compilation go here and uh, uh, simulate these both modules as, as well test bench and then you will get a bav option here and then these all object uh, put object in the bav and then run it you will give the you will see the verification uh, means you can verify the uh, modules
and then after that you have to write here vsim debug db all gets and tv if you want to view the tv test bench all module then you have to tv and otherwise you want to view the all gates only so suppose you want to get what are the modules get okay so vsim debug db all gates okay then you will see only the schematic view of the module view option schematic incremental see this this is your module structure a schematic view a schematic view okay so in this way you can write a code uh, write a module code test bench code uh, do the very uh, verification means uh, you can verify using the uh, web web and uh, after that you can uh, see the schematic test bench these all things so for basic beginners it is good okay thank you